we have prepared a program or a schedule for load shedding based on a forecast, on a demand forecast that we have prepared for the day. That demand forecast establishes more or less how much demand we're going to do by hour. Based on the generation availability at that hour, and given the restrictions imposed to us by, you know, the lack of supply from the, the lack of adequate supply from CFE and our own generation sources, then we establish, you know, a plan taking into consideration areas that we can, where can we can do early, where it is better to do later at night, right? We, and also, we take into consideration the size of those areas, the size of those feeders. Okay. Belicete, I know it's a business district, so we try. We are trying to, if we need to, because we need to right now, especially right now at three o'clock, we are going to be short of about 30 megawatts. That is, that calls for the outage of an entire Belicete. We're not going to do that. So if we touch areas in Belize City, we'll do it at an earlier time than what we would do on a rural area. Let me elaborate a bit on the term that the situation is fluid. CFE has indeed advised us that um, you know we should not expect that they'll be able to provide us with the contracted power over the next 48 hours. But I also have said CFE has been going out of its way to help us. So it could be that five o'clock this evening they say, hey, we're able to help you with 30 megawatts of power. They might actually say tomorrow, you know what, we have fixed the situation or we have brought another uh, gen generator online. We're able to provide you with all the contracted power for the rest of the weekend. So this is what we mean by the situation is fluid. We might announce a schedule and then the schedule would not have to happen. But there's another situation the other way around, is that if CFE is not providing us with power, that means that we have to run all our local generation resources. It may, and, and so we will announce um, a schedule based on the difference in demand that we can't supply. However, if one, as Jose explained, if one of the generators, let's say, at uh, the Vaca plant drops offline. That is nine megawatts of supply falling offline. Nine megawatts is huge. The entire Belize city is about 22 megawatts. So you're talking probably about three feeders in Belize city will have to be shed if that happens. So that is why we're saying the situation is fluid. It could also be, um, I mean, I'm not aware of what the forecast is, that tomorrow is cooler. If it's cooler, then the demand that we are projecting might actually be lower, and we might be able to meet more of the demand. If it's hotter, then it goes the opposite way. And these are the dynamics that we have to manage in a tight um, generation versus demand situation.